All right, welcome to the Bookmap Live Trading Webinar. Uh, actually, this is incorrect. Today we have Jay Trader, uh, Stocks Trader. Uh, he will be going through some live trading and stocks, live analysis. We do this every Wednesday so that you can get a feel for other traders, how they trade, how they look at the order flow. Uh, Jay Trader will come in in a few minutes. Uh, he's finishing up his trading room. Uh, he'll be in soon. Uh, he does offer mentorship services. I'll be putting these links into the chat for you. Uh, so in the meantime, though, let's jump into the live market, and then uh, uh, we'll give it over to uh, J Trader when he is ready. So uh, let's jump in and take a look at uh, book map here and the order flow. Um, seeing some nice momentum at the moment. Here's some selling up here. A little, little. Um, uh, not as clear as we'd like to see, but uh, uh, we see the, the, the buying coming in here, looking for them to extend uh, and continue with the momentum up into this liquidity up here. Uh, this is the uh, S&P uh, E-mini, and it's um, uh, 43.57 or so, 60, somewhere around in here. You can see the liquidity in here, and we're looking for the continuation here. Let's take a step back. Let's look at our bigger picture uh, and why. Uh, here's why. All right, here's our daily chart on the on the uh, left-hand side. Uh, look at the candle here. This is rejection down here. These tails, it's rejection. Uh, yesterday, we were looking for the move down. We saw the rejection on the upside here. Uh, and uh, the move down, so we're looking for continuation to the downside. Now we're back up and we see... Uh, uh, rejection down here we're looking for the continuation to the upside the uh, the hourly here in the middle also supporting that we can see some of the wicks in here yesterday really choppy day during this session and then a beautiful move right at the end of the session uh, and the continuation uh, so uh, I know that uh, uh, Tom took over uh, at that point in the stream so I hope you guys had a, a good session there um, the um, uh, this is the 15 minute chart on the right hand side here. Everything was telling us uh, in the 15 minute chart that uh, we're looking for the continuation uh, to the downside. So this is when the webinar was yesterday uh, and we're looking for um, the, the move lower. Uh, it really chopped around in here and then finally we got the clarity near the end and we're looking for a move back down into not only this low here um, around the uh, this swing here, but we were looking for, and I haven't changed these lines. You can go back and look at the recording. Uh, we're looking for the move down, back down to this area, this little kind of nook, uh, or you know, there was kind of a pause and then a continuation here. We're looking for a test to that area, uh, and uh, played out very nicely. Uh, here's the, uh, uh, the continuation from today. Now, look at the rejection down here. Okay, this wick, and look at the strong move here. So we're looking for buyers to continue to try to reach up and test some of these areas up in here. Uh, and if we get enough, maybe we can come back up into 43, uh, 73 or, um, you know, even back up into this kind of 80 uh, level here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, some some uh, scenarios to go through in the bigger picture here. And that's what we're looking for. Uh, and. Uh, all right. Monka, let's see, no at everybody uh, in here, so we're going to delete you um, and boot you out. All right, you're out. Okay, um, anyway, uh, so uh, yeah, that's what we're looking for here in the order flow. Let's check check out book map and see what's going on. Uh, all right, so we uh, we see the, the sideways consolidation here. Uh, move to the downside. Here's our, well, this is still like the uh, uh, overnight here. Uh, look at the overnight cluster of volume up in this area here. Uh, still bullish here, even though we get this kind of pullback here uh, during the day, uh, uh, or just before the uh, 9.30 session here. This was when we had some data here also at 8. 815. Now, this is around 847. Uh, and look look where the breakout took place here. Usually we look at, you know, somewhere around here is where the breakout took place or even up here uh, in terms of the range. But you can see it in here as well. This little swing here, the breakout, uh, quick move. Here's the retest back to it. Uh, and then we're looking at the continuation here. Now, we're looking for the continuation up higher. Uh, what we don't like about this is in here is we're looking for continued um, 
uh, strength and volume in here. This looks pretty good, except when we get up to here in this point up here all right, in the order flow. So how is it accepting above uh, this swing up here? Uh, and you know this looks good; it's strong. So we look for the continuation. Uh, and uh, but this up here does not look so strong. Uh, we see a lot of selling starting to come in. Okay, we don't want to see that. We want to see uh, a, a less selling, maybe a low volume pullback. This is not a low volume pullback. This is more selling in here. And then and we can see again here, look at the wick, or I'm sorry, the uh, the bar, look at the uh, the dots in here. Okay, so let's see if they can bring it back, back down here to where they broke out from around this 26 level, uh, something like that. And we're just looking for a test down here. Okay, we want to see these sellers test this strength down here all right so uh, uh, first we were looking for this move higher uh, and then continuation uh, noting though this kind of volume in here uh, but uh, we got to go with the uh, the strong move uh, until we see something different we're, we're looking for the test down here and our buyer is going to support it i don't see much in the order book right now uh, and uh, uh, we want to see that we want to see them on the bid here uh, we want to see strength on the bid. They're supporting it. Uh, buyers want to line up, and uh, this this pullback to them, they're going to defend this area here. I don't really see a lot of defense right now. So sellers are, are trying to take it a bit lower here. Okay, so we're already, well, we're just about getting down there uh, into the level we were looking for. But, uh, yeah, anyway, yep, here we go. All right. So now let's see if we get some buying interest down here or not. Sellers pushing it through. Okay, there they go. Okay, we're down at 30. All right, we're going to see some covering in here. Uh, and we're going to see probably a pullback to just about this area right here, uh, which is where we just broke from around 26 or 27 level here. All right, and we want to we want to check this out. We want to see like uh, if uh, uh, we're going to see more buying support in here. Thanks, Alan. So uh, yeah, we've got um, uh, Powell speaking or spoke as well. So a question: uh, Did you guys uh, see? Um, the follow through did you did you go with it uh the follow through in here looking for this break of our uh this level up here 13 uh if we could get down below it uh, first we're looking for the test into it and the break of actually this level up here around this uh it was around 30 that we wanted to see tested it did and then finally we got that continuation now you can see um in the order flow in here uh, it's basically just ranges uh, in here that we're looking at uh, and we're looking for the test down to here and maybe if they can get through that on some strength then we're looking for the test into this area here so we're looking for a pretty clean move uh, which it, it delivered here so uh, I hope you guys were um, uh, you know saw that uh, we're, we're looking for this the entire session uh, for this this move to unfold and uh, it, it, it took it, until the end of the session did we finally uh, start to see it. Uh, once you see that clarity, uh, and it was not a clear session at all, uh, it was very um, a tricky tape uh, yesterday, uh, but uh, just, uh, you know, uh, something to note in there. Um, the uh, uh, Even when it's really tricky like that and it just doesn't look right and it's not giving you that clarity, then there's nothing to do. Uh, the market's not clear. Uh, it's not clear on its direction. And we're waiting and watching for that clarity, when the, when everything starts to align. Now we also saw we looked at crude oil. Let's let's jump over to crude oil. We saw some uh, pure direction in that one. Jeez, this went up to one twelve fifty. Wow. Okay. So Alan, I hope you were in that. Um, so we were, we were yesterday looking for just to move up and from one hundred four to one hundred five. Uh, I think it went up to one hundred six. Uh, during the session yesterday uh, and you can see I mean this is this is going to give you a clearer direction here uh, you know these commodities uh, with this kind of geopolitical tensions and, and um, uncertainty uh, you know just look for the uh, the order flow to support that direction 
and that, that kind of clarity. Uh, and uh, right now we can see that we're retesting some of these areas here. Uh, and um, yeah, I'd be looking for the, these sellers are coming in and they're trying to drive it down into uh, this kind of 107 area and liquidity down in 107.50 and 107 at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I mean, these are, you know, boy, uh, it, it's, it, you know, jumping on the on the on the bandwagon here or on the train with uh, with crude oil. I mean, like, you know, you're going to get those quick moves here uh, when you get that volume behind it. Uh, and, uh, you know, look, look for that. Uh, look for that in the order flow. Look for that strength uh, and that breakout. Yeah, it does. It does move really fast. It also pulls back, and it's also heavy, heavily manipulated as we looked at some spoofing yesterday as well. Uh, and uh, larger players coming in and, and really kind of bullying the order book. Anyway, yeah, that's crude oil. Waiting for JTrader. Let me go through the disclosures in here. I haven't gone through that yet. Um, so hold on a second. And I'll be... I'll, put uh, J Traders information into the chat so that you guys can uh, uh, reach out to him if you like. Uh, all right, general disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Live trading is in simulation demo paper trading mode and cannot accurately represent realistic trading performance uh, and strictly for educational purposes. Uh, risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. An investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security nor lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. It's important to understand these disclosures. Uh, this is not a, a trading room to or, or trade copier room. Uh, this is for educational purposes only. So you can get insight to how other traders uh, read order flow, their setups, their way of managing their trades, their psychology behind their trading activity. So you can peek over the shoulder of a professional. Uh, that's what this is for. Uh, if you're trying to uh, make a quick buck by, by copying and following, this is not the place to be. All right? it, you're just going to end up losing money, and then you're going to go to another room and do the same thing again. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I really try to dissuade uh, people from uh, uh, looking for that. If you want to trade, copy your service, reach out to a pro and let them manage your money uh, and, and take it like that. Uh, so, um, uh, anyway... Uh, Waiting for Jay Trader. He should be coming in pretty soon. There he is. Okay. Uh, let's turn it over to him and uh, let uh, Joseph take it away. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning, traders. Good morning, Joseph. How are you? Uh, good, buddy. Good. Thank you. Did you have fun on your holidays? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was really nice. Really nice uh, to um, uh, get away. And uh, boy, first yeah. Did time. Did you gain weight? Uh, maybe a little bit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I see, I see. We're going to have another talk, you and me, later. <laughs> uh, sounds good, sounds good. I, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, you, you are uh, uh, in incredible shape, uh, Joseph. Uh, I've seen some photos of you. It's just, jeez, uh, um, you're huge. Well, uh, it's pasta, tagliatelle, and uh, prosciutto, you know, the same night. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, <coughs> um, uh, yeah, take it away, Joseph, if you can, I think maybe you are sharing your desk. Let me or... Let me see over here, one second. Yeah, hold on. Okay, you should be able, traders, to see it now. Okay, yeah, hold on a minute. I, I do not see it, um, but this is my... Can you see the traders my monitor? Oh, shoot. Hold on a minute. Morning, Jimmy. Morning, McLovin. Okay. The guys can see it. Bruce, yeah, yeah. So... It's, this is me. Sorry, guys. Uh, hold on. I, I, I just need to start restreaming it as well here. Um, so hold on. Sorry. 
No problem, Bruce. You still have the jet lag. <laughs> there you are. There's your stream. Okay. I got it. <clears throat> Looks good. Okay. Thank you very much. So, traders, first of all, good morning again. Uh, the market this morning uh, didn't uh, give any kind of A-plus setups. I want to focus uh, just one second over here, first of all, on yes. All right, so this is yes. Uh, we're going to put uh, an hourly chart. So just to see the bigger picture. Now you can look over here. Yes. All right. So the last week over here, we are in a trading range. Okay, so really no direction. Uh, we have this uh, top at uh, 43.85. And then over here, we have this dip at 42.60. You can see the price is basically being lateral. Okay, so no trade for me today. Also, I took uh, a week off over here. I have my beer and Alexandra trading. Uh, after a very good, uh, a very good February, so it was, was uh, a decent month for uh, for the records. And the setup that they tr uh, that I traded the most were uh, on big caps, Jalen rejection, Jalen curl, ninety May scalps, always with bookmap. On Thursday, Friday, Monday, and yesterday, I recorded four live trading session. Uh, you know with my with my team and uh we went over every single setup that i took every single trade that i took and 90 percent of them were with the use of my strategy together with bookmap and i'm going to show you today basically how i can have the consistency so right away uh let's i would say in italy you say sfatare il mito so let's always say that there's no holy grail but you know you can make a strategy very close to it for example, this is Mugen. He's a he's a member that is trading bookmap and setups, and this is his month. Okay, basically of what he invested, he made him, he made almost double of his money in one month, and this is possible. So now let's look together how I took those trades on Apple, on Tesla, on uh, Facebook, and others. Um, I'm gonna take over here Tesla. Okay, and. Uh, being that you put up one minute or a five minute is not really important the strategy works the same okay so i'm just gonna put a one minute over here because i was looking at the one minute this morning and i'm gonna uh, show you tesla over here okay so i'm gonna put one second this bigger uh you can see that today i kept it very simple you know i like to show you different things from time to time sometimes we come here and I have the dots and uh, sweeps indicator. Sometimes I come over here and I only put, for example, the, uh, the, the candles and the heat map. Sometimes I stay without heat map. So I just want to focus each time on different content. So when you get out from, uh, uh, you know, this, uh, this webinar we have, you have, I would say, more knowledge. Now, look over here at the gate. We see, and I'm going to put this uh, probably red over here okay so we open over here okay and this is the open at a72 what do we see right away the price is opening so this bar over here the price is opening okay imagine this is a one second chart goes down and then goes back up for example you can put over here a 10 second chart on a tesla book map and you will see what i'm talking about so this is an under over on the same bar. Okay, this is an under over. Basically opens, goes under the open, then over the open. Okay. One of the uh we say um difficulties in trading this, in trading the open, is the fact that you have to be super quick and you have to know how to react very fast and change bias very fast. So you cannot simply marry your position, all right? And you cannot be stubborn. Uh, my win rate at the open uh, is between 50 and 55%. So it's not a high win rate, right? Uh, but the uh, R of return are three to four times more. So that's the reason why to trade it. And then after 945, 950, the win rate moves almost to 90%, which is really high win rate. And now I'm showing you how to do it. So the price opens, 
dips okay so you have over here dips then start to go back up you can see over here my chart and on bookmap open starts dipping right and i don't really consider this uh, small light heat map because you can see over here that uh, we have the main support at 865 and the 860. good morning abdul good morning ap Alan, and others so we can call them liquidity zones we can call them demand zones we can call them like buyers as you prefer once we reclaim the 872 which is the open level over here we start seeing buyers we have a, a small heat map they clear out right away and then we have a push over here you can see that we hold this uh, vwap we hold again the vwap and then we push to this level so look what happens at this level yesterday and today apple made the same thing yesterday on the first bar we found the main resistance over here and then uh unwinded and the same thing today but today on the third bar so you can see that level that level is a fib level together with the heat map gives you first i would say reason where to short now you can see that below we don't have any kind of big heat maps until this support over here right and what you can do you can start looking for a second lower high so that's the first way that i will look to trade it second lower high heat map when it pops into it comes back down you're shorting so it's this bar over here you're having a tight stop just above and then you take the fade if it goes back to break even who cares you're already taking you know half at two r two r and a half and then if it continues to goes down you can take a huge one for example the open bar yesterday on apple sorry on tesla gave eight bucks over here and i share this and i share this one i just want to we say uh reshare it one second so that you can learn how to take these and it's the same process okay it's the same exact process so let me grab it over here okay so you can see this is uh, yesterday, all right, traders. Uh, let me do this. And at that open, you see over here, okay, I'm gonna do like this, all right. At that open, this was shared yesterday in, uh, in live streaming, okay? So in the exact second around all the room, in front of all the room. And in the morning, we had a dip. So the dip that we have right now, this morning is the same dip we had yesterday that's the reason why you have to study and you have to focus on learning these setups because look over here i'm going to put this morning the open look what happened so and also would like to to see some answers over here if this is right is this is clear sorry just tell me it's clear you know like put the yes or tell me a clear or okay or way to go but that open you can see the dip right in that open over here, you can see the dip, right? The same exact thing. This is yesterday, okay? We're talking about yesterday, and this is today. So two different days. And then over here, we have basically the push, the push, the push, the push, the push. And over here, yesterday, the push, the push, the push, the push. Reach to a top. And then over here was the perfect short. And over here, I showed you just like a few instances ago, how to take the short with the heat map so now knowing all of this let's see mclovin let's see jimmy let's see abdu why according to you yesterday we got this short exactly at that level why mclovin jimmy you again why exactly there was a heat map so at the open you have to be very reactive and i'm not saying it's easy i'm not saying it's for everybody i mean even with a lot of experience you will have probably between 50 and 60 percent of the wins okay and you're already good if you can do that and you have to look for two main things previous days support and resistance levels okay and also bookmap levels why support and resistance levels 
because I like to trace them in pre-market so that when during the day we have the push into that heat map at the gate, not during the, sorry, the gate, I can put together a daily previous resistance, a heat map, and a pop and fill. So this setup over here that you see here, that happens in this case in five bars, or this setup over here that happens in two bars, this is called pop and fill or fill follow through. Basically, if we put over here, this is a little bit of lesson. If we put the resistance, this is your pre-market high. And let's say this is the J lines. And uh, let's say that this is the, we're gonna make it like this. And this is the open level. When it pops, and I see over here that we touch the heat map or we go above and below the heat map and this happens in the first one to three minutes and this heat map is also i would say a pre-market high a previous day low previous day close a previous day high previous day resistance okay so you want to resist in the next in the previous one day or in the same pre-market day then over here this zone for me becomes a perfect zone to shore with a very tight risk and it doesn't really matter if it works 50 percent of the time because my stop is one hour, but this unwind will generally be between three and four hour. So it's worth taking this, right, Miguel? Right, Jimmy? And that's called pop and fail. Pop and fail or FFT, okay? Which means fail, follow through. Remember about this. What happened in this case that we have this point, breakout traders, but the intention of the wheels, so who really controls over here, let's say a big chunk, of uh, shares and can be many players okay we have many big players that control a lot of uh, shares of tesla or apple or nvidia in this case they're dumping so they're finding liquidity okay that holds a support because breakout traders come so what they do they create a support right more buyers you have the more support you have and they use that liquidity to dump their shares if their shares is much more than these buyers what happens boom dumps so this is, uh, let me say, um, a preface of, um, of what this market is doing at the open. And I think that knowing these keys over here, this is really like advanced trading, uh, really helps you to find a spot of reversal because that's the point, okay? You're looking over here to find the top of a reversal and the bottom reversal. So when yesterday we saw the heat map over here, we called the trade short, we explained the trade short. And then, you can hold it over here, all right? And you can look for this unwind. Now, going back to uh, today price section, I want to show you another example. So I think until we want to have like, you know, more, more trading setups, I want to share with you uh, when you have basically to look for a short or for a long. So look at this spot. We are over here around 10, 10, 10, 11, okay? So I'm going to do like this. Now, question again for you traders. In this case, we see that the price is going down. So we have an inside bar. Remember this inside bar, and it's basically this. It's the open level. So I don't really feel comfortable trading it because we can have a lot of support from the open level. But remember when you see some small bar inside like this, it's often a continuation. Okay. And this is a very good continuation over here. Now we break a heat map, we break another one over here, we go down and look what happens. When we get to this 10, 14, 13, 13, we start to see this small bounce, right? This small bounce and then fills. Look at this small bounce over here, small bounce, resistance. So this is a nice heat map above. And that's where basically I was shorting all these days. When I have that resistance that really tops for me the price, then I can look to short. Okay, makes sense? Good. And then you can see over here, we have another pullback. You see a pullback, pullback, pullback. Over here, we have a wedge, another inside bar, and then breakdown. And what do you see over here, traders? Oh, let's put it over here. Okay. You see the price being so clear, really? So clear. Look how this is clear. Look. And you have this wedge over here and you have this inside bar. So I'm always looking to short the tops. 
always shorter near the 90 May, always shorter near heat map. And for longs, I can tell you, I took all the longs in the previous days where we had, okay, where we had the dips. Uh, let me see if I can uh, uh, grab one. Now, for example, this is uh, I'm, I'm a member in the room right now. You see, she's shorting the tops. Okay, so you never want to trade the weakness. You want to trade always the top. This, for example, was uh, my uh, NVIDIA a few days ago, and I adopted the same exact strategy. Okay, uh, this trade over here, the open, I had a heat map over here. So McLovin, Jimmy, everybody else, Abdu, that is this falling over here. These setups are pretty simple, but you have to be super quick. Because if, for example, you're not quick with your mouse, with your like window order, or with your hotkey, personally I like hotkey, but you can use whatever you want. I mean, it makes a big difference shorting over here or getting the short over here. And again, this was posted exactly live, sharing the, the count, sharing the, the setup, the chart, while I was uh, um, trading the room. So it popped. So again, that pop, we had a heat map, so broke the heat map. When I see that, I'm shorting. But again, the win rate will be between 50, 55, maybe if you're very good, 60%. But it doesn't matter because the stop is over here and look how big unwind you take versus that stop, right? So it's really worth it. Even if you have 40% win rate, this is absolutely worth it. And then over here, I'm not really looking you know, to engage short on the breakdowns. You see over here, breakdown, breakdown. And then if I short over here on the breakdown, what happens? Boom, goes against me. And maybe you, what you will do, you will stop over here when I'm shorting the pops instead. Over here, I have to make, uh, and this we could put Bruce more than, you know, trading live together is more, because the market is very slow right now, more like uh, a webinar together, how to use bookmap. Over here, this I missed. I missed because I was trading four stocks at the same time. This was a Thursday or Friday, I don't remember. The price went up, broke a heat map when it came down, and I, and I simply missed it. Boom, boom. Boom, I was still in, but this was a beautiful re-add if you can do it. And then over here, why I shorted? Because I saw a heat map basically like this. You see these traders? Okay, imagine that at this level. Boom. And by doing like that, you will have such a high win rate. Now, when it does not work, when the market is doing this. No direction. I mean, it will eventually work if you buy dips and short pops, but it's ranging, okay? So don't expect like you odds or you use R of return. Wait for some kind of direction like this, okay? This is where you want to short, so the pops and heat map for that reason over there. So uh, I was looking also in video this morning, Apple, and uh, they gave some of the same setup that I'm discussing right now with you, okay? So we're gonna look together. Over here, if for example, uh, Tesla will give us more setups like this. Also we have over here, I'm gonna put uh, Apple. Okay, let's, let's take for example, Apple. So let's put over here, Apple. Uh, was it clear, this traders? Um, makes sense how to use bookmap to find these spot of reversal. If I can just kind of jump in for a moment, Joseph, um, uh, yep. maybe help clarify um, for um, others as as well as my, myself. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, I think it's very clear. Uh, you're looking and stalking and waiting for a very specific setup, uh, mm -hmm. and because uh, uh, you know it's high probability. Uh, and then you're looking at your setup to unfold on your higher time frame. Now you're looking at the order flow. Uh, you're looking at the heat map uh, to give you insight. Um, the only uh, and, and and just and then you're just nailing it. Um, uh, I, I really like the way you cover this whole uh, risk reward uh, because if you know your setup, um, then you know it's like taking a taking a a bet with a, a friend like okay well let's have a a, a coin flip 
Um, and, uh, you know, but every time that I win, uh, you know, let's say I choose tails, you, you choose heads. Every time I win, um, I get, you know, 60% of the money. Uh, every time you win, you only get 40% of the money or something like this. So it, it, it's like, of course, you're going to take that. You're going to take it every single time. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, you're looking for your high probability setup. And then uh, now you got the order flow on your side with the uh, uh, the heat map here. Uh, simple and, um, and and beautiful, real, real effective. Uh, I just had a question on um, time of day because this environment right now, um, you know, and you're talking about trading the open. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, obviously there's high volume uh, during that open. Uh, but maybe you have a few comments on, on that. So let's see. Let's see over here. Um, you mean this uh, This zone over here, buddy? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like at 9, 9.30 East Coast time, I mean, in that, that open, and then, like, uh, you're stalking and waiting for your setup. Uh, so yeah, market timing. I mean, I know in the afternoon, you know, you're looking for fading, uh, especially the, the crappy stocks. Um, because you know that, uh, the time of day, they've already made their move. It's not worth it. And now you're looking for fading it right back down into some of those areas where they began. Exactly. So to answer what uh, Bruce is saying over here, uh, let's just take this for example. This is Sophie of this morning. Uh, I'm just uh, now a friend over here, Pedro, also moderator. He's a, he's a big cap and um, option trader. So look over here. Uh, we are talking about risk reward. So we don't know how much a trade will go before reversing, before stopping, or maybe we'll go even all day. Okay. And this is both good for long and for short. We don't know that. But what we can know is to follow our plan. So if, for example, we know that our entry is over here because we see right away a soak at the gate, like often we see this. And then right away above, we see one big seller. And we can see over here, this seller is big. Probably over here was even bigger because I can see more red color. And I'm focusing only on orange and red colors, okay? I'm not looking at all the library over there. And then I see more heat map above. So I know that the worst case scenario, I'm stopping over here. I'm taking a 20 cent stop. Okay. Now I can put, you know, a trailing, of course, and I can put a target uh, based on a previous big heat map support, a 90 MA trailing, a previous daily support, uh, something that my strategy, for example, tells me. And what I do over here is basically shorting, setting my stop and then taking the first profit out at 2R plus, and then basically looking to hold this all the way down. And like that, you, you, basically, uh, you basically make your R return. Okay, uh, makes sense, Bruce? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, and then <laughs> the beautiful thing is, then look at your equity curve that you showed in when you, when you started the webinar. Exactly. So, exactly. so you're not talking about one individual trade. You're talking about many trades and looking at exactly. your setup. Exactly. 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 And this is for small accounts. This could be for bigger accounts. This is again before I was showing over here a smaller account from again a trader. Also share a lot of stuff on the internet. This is another trader. Ramin he uses a book map as well. He trade big caps and options. And he was able to bring uh, from, uh, you know, a very small account over here in July to 15K right now. And he started with a 5K account. So not bad. And he uses all these things together. Okay. So basically, traders is the approach, the approach, the risk management that makes you grow your account. This is what Bruce wants to, wants to tell you. Okay. Now, going back to the live trading over here and Apple. Uh, Apple, we don't have a trend. We don't have a trend over here because uh, we are still at the pre-market high, and we're still inside the previous day range. So I'm not looking for contrary trades over here. I'm look, not looking for you know shorting the pops, buying the dips. I'm looking for a trend, and I'm really looking around over here. Which one is trending? Trending this morning was the M. Uh, so you know, for example, that. Uh, uh, 
I'm going to show over here Alexandra. One second. Uh, let me see over here. Okay, basically this. So she treated this in a simulated, but it's the same process. And it's the same reason that I explain right now. So this is ZM. Let's go to check ZM. We can put the last two hours, it's fine. So ZM is uh, one of the stocks that downtrended today the best over here because one we went from 122 down to 114. So this is a huge amount of percentage unwind over here. We're talking about uh, an unwind of uh, something like 7%. Okay, so big unwind. Now look with me. Uh, we're going to clear out uh, clear a few things over here. So I'm going to keep it very simple for you guys today. We're going to keep this. All right. Okay, so this is the M. And let's see our chart. So this is a five minutes. Okay. You can see traders that she traded at 950 51 at 118 and 70 so she waited the direction first of all you see all bars being red you see the heat map above here the main seller okay and then a second main seller 121 and 20 and then over here 121 and 50 something like that 121 probably in 30 and 50. and then we have this bounce okay so this bounce okay in this case there we are in this case, we don't have any kind of huge heat map. We have the clear out of this. So we have a break of 118. It pushes this micro over here resistant. This is very, very small liquidity over here. But then we start seeing the seller. So you may miss this like Alexandra did. But then when you have the confirmation that you have that rejection, you start seeing these sellers. They're really tapering down over here, the price. And we're talking about this level over here. So look at this level here. So we have sellers, 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 sellers inside bar. You know that I like the inside bars. Uh, over here, you can still short the pops. So setting your risk and then boom, a still use unwind. Okay, I still use unwind. We had the breakdown over here. And now even if you are like a bounce trader, you can still buy over here in the dip. You can sell over here for 50, 60 cents, rest in the money. And then another bounce over here. And again, comes this inside bar and starts to push again. Yeah. So this is the process that basically you have to look every single time. Make sense, uh, guys? Yeah, I, I, I love it, Joseph. I mean, really simple uh, order flow um, uh, elements you're looking at uh, to, go in, to be in line with your bigger strategy. Okay. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, good morning, Luis. So now let's go back and let's start checking over here. Just, just a, one and, one comment again, like um, uh, Joseph. I yeah. mean, we you know every every week you do this webinar. Uh, I think we're really really lucky to see someone who is so consistent with their trading, uh, and and this is really a, a key here, and this is why we do these pro. Or, you know these webinars these uh, trading webinars uh, so that you get insight to the, the trader and the way that they look at the market not just individual trades here though I mean we're getting so much more information here we're getting an understanding of a holistic approach to trading mm -hmm. and we're seeing these results over many 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 trades here uh, this is um, invaluable uh, you, you know, you, you go to all these different webinars from or, you know, different uh, tr uh, uh, streaming rooms and you'll see a, one set up after another. But having this kind of bigger picture, holistic approach is where it's all at. This is where you're going to make money over time. Exactly. Uh, because the setup is always the same. The strategy is always the same. Then you have to know how to read the order flow. And then you can basically start to take these trades. Now, the market of today traders, besides over here, the fail on NVIDIA, I don't really want to trade. For me, it's untradeable, something like this. 
okay? You can scalp it. I'm not a scalper anymore. Even in the last probably, in the last probably four days, I took like maybe, not the last two days, sorry, but Thursday, Friday, Monday, I took something like 50 trades. You know, the same maybe two, three stocks. So when you see after, you see only like, you know, four trades or three trades of that, because maybe it's adding, scaling out, rescaling. So it, then they counted like one trade, for example, when you go to see the stats. Uh, but a point is uh, uh, we were trending those days. And over here, for example, today on NVIDIA, we're not trending at all. So what can we see over here? That we have to basically stay put, not looking to do anything until I don't have a trend. Now, let's look back on Tesla the one that may be straining the most. Remember, we are an important support. You have the previous day low down here. And now we'll see. We're going to have one of those setups that I explained to you before. And again, we had one just here. So you see this uh, selling pressure. Selling pressure because we have the price went up right away, flushed down. So we have a heat map, second heat map, a little bit more over here. This inside bar, this is a beautiful setup for me. If this would be the day that I would trade, this is a perfect setup. So I'm going to mark it and just like explain it over here, this over here. And uh, we can do this. So we have a heat map uh, means selling pressure because they put another heat map below. And then we over here inside bar. We have the price at top of 90 May. So we're shorting that pop. That's the point. Okay. Now, pardon that you see all red like this, but that's the point over here of the strategy. So you want to short the pop. You don't want to short, for example, the breakdown over here. Often, often these will be fake outs. Now let's look over here. If we're going to have another pop, and ideally this setup over here will come with a heat map or a good short, right? So follow me on this, traders. Let's see together. You know, I'm not uh, trading these days, but we're still looking for a possible setup. Uh, Alan, it's a good question. Yes, I look at VIX, but uh, I'm day trading. So I'm looking mostly at ES and NQ for the direction over here uh, with the, uh, with the, uh, for the direction of the of the big caps. So we are popping to the ninety May. I don't see over here traders any kind of big buyer. I see more sellers. And this for me is a good level to short the A52, A52.50. Why? Because basically I have the price on anime. I see the heat map over here. It rejected. So we can get to the 850 for a fast scalp over here, right? And that's what you have to do. So you see over here the price falling already. You cover partial. And then basically what you do, you simply put the stop break even. Now you see a new heat map form, and a new heat map form. There we are. And then you already took your trade. Okay, you don't need to do anything else. You do it like this, all right? Very, very, you know, pop and fill, pop and fill, pop and fill. And you start taking your trade, and then you can simply manage for this unwind. Okay? 
Got it? Makes sense? Good. I will never follow CNBC, I think, is the worst thing you can do in your life as a trader. Point. So why, why do you think that, uh, Joseph? Because it's manipulated information, because uh, it's not done really for the benefit of knowledge of traders, often, and don't say everybody. Uh, but uh, if I hear some people talking over there, possibly is the direction, the opposite direction I will take. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine I, I could probably foresee you uh, getting on CNBC and uh, uh, helping them no. uh, uh, your, with your position. No, not really, <laughs> not really, not really. So support of previous low, the support you see over here is a 200 exponential moving average on a five minute chart. Uh, if you look over here, traders, the main support is 840. 850 you can see now they're trying over here to hold it okay they're still rejecting so the small position right the small position that we we shared so starting really after your level over here being rejected with this level over here starting to take in our small trade getting over here fill with a one dollar risk it's already going for five bucks Okay, so now you manage your position and you start looking for a more unwind. And the next target is A45, the big one, and then A40. Makes sense, guys. So that is the level. Again, process is this. together with this heat map over here and you get in over here we're gonna do this and this over here seven points a45 you see the big support they basically had a washout over here. You can see the price breaking down A45, right away reclaiming. So now we could have a possible bounce until over here, 849, 848. Ideally, this level of here. Let's see. Perform a little bit of support, 845. For now it's an inside bar they're trying to gain momentum you can see buyers now we said possibly bounce 844 848 and 50 849 let's see Forty-seven. More heat map over here. More support at forty-five and fifty. So we have over here bounce. Let's see if they're going to push A47, then they form a new support A47. It's nice how they position this, you see it, traders. So if you see this, it's still in a downtrend. It's a bear flag at the end, right? Like happened over here. 
So they're not, oh, wow, we have to buy over here. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, it's a possible pullback to this area. 848, 848 and 50, 848 right now, I would say. This is bear flag. This is possible a bear flag. Okay. You see over here how they're rising momentum, how buyers are stepping in. Somebody's controlling 848. Possibly now another fade. Okay. So you see how they form heat maps? That's exactly what I meant. And we call this before the thing happening. Okay, so again, over here, you start seeing all this support, basically. Let me see over here, we'll mark it for you. So we see the A45, A45, and then new buyers stepping in, raising the bid levels, new heat maps, equal bounce to 90MA. In this case, it came even to 850. Yeah, great, great example, Joseph, in real time. Love it. And this cap in traders, always when we have, I would say, a huge amount of uh, liquidity all stuck into a certain level. So what I mean by that, if you look over here, uh, let me put this. We have this 845, you can see the main liquidity. And then over here, stock Y, because over here they they sell, maybe somebody short sells over here, the breakdown. And I believe the short sellers over here are a little bit trapped. And then starts to curl. And you can see over here that this support came comes back. And then another one, another one, another one. It's guiding up. Do I think this is a reversal to the upside? Probably not. Probably still like unwind over here. But, you know, you have to recognize, traders, you have to recognize these things. Okay? This is what forms a trader. Let's see you again if it has any kind of um, question. Okay, now if I start seeing some seller above, we can have a possible fail. I like this. I like this very much. And that is exactly where I short. Okay. It's exactly where I short. Again, I'm not shorting now. Today is my day off. So I just wanted to show one thing over there. But this is my short. This is why I want to short. And already over here, I'm out half covering a uh, bit and then putting a stop break even. Who cares? Who cares if it goes back? But you see over there, again, that heat map traders. This is a stuff that you have to learn. Okay, again, I'm putting this. Uh, no, me, that is not. I'm using candles now. I'm just showing you today candles, but I prefer the DOS generally. Okay, this is just a heat map. Short example with uh, 90 May. So when heat map comes in, what is heat map? It's basically sellers on the on the four eight forty nine sellers at eight forty nine equal fade. That's the point. Okay, um, you can uh, personally do you use uh, uh, dots or you use buddy. Um, uh, candles. Even are you traders? What do you use? Both dots, 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 volume. That's okay. And I prefer the dots and book and. Um, Bruce will tell you why. Because with dots, you can see the exhaustion. And uh, you can see, uh, let me see if I can show you an example over here. What I mean by that, why I put this, no. Uh, dots over here, okay. But I need to put over here also the MBBO. So this, 
Envy View. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain a few things over here. I need to take off the candles. Candlestick bars, one second. Okay, so often you will see, often you will see this. You'll see the price. Now, this is not the perfect example, really. Uh, I'll need to see a little bit more extension over here. Okay, okay, maybe maybe these over here, maybe these over here. So when you have the price pushing and you start seeing really no dots over here, I start looking at really these levels like no place for buyers anymore. So basically, I don't see buyers anymore. What does it mean? If they don't have buyers, they're exhausted. Nobody is willing to pay anymore 8 48 54 and 58 for 55 for this because they don't uh, uh consider anymore tesla good at this price to buy and hold and that's the point so when i see something like this i see no buyers and i see no prints up here who's left nobody and therefore people get scared oh damn nobody's buying anymore nobody's buying so what i'm going to do over here i'm gonna dump and if you dump that's a perfect moment to short with them. And you can see over here, who is in control now? You see this over here, guys, blue or pink? This is basically all magenta over here, not pink, sorry. But it basically only sellers over here. Of course, we'll see some buyers. But I mean, the majority are sellers over here. So sellers are in control, okay? And you can see it so clear with this. Now, use... Uh, dots you use the candles use i don't know like squares i don't really care i'm just telling you how it works that's it that's it so if now for example we would see a big push a big rip and right away you see a big spike over here in mbbo i consider that is a is a exhaustion of the move for now who is in control all buyers look over here the buyers got it and everything started from our little over here dip. Soak on the bid. Boom. Push all the way up. A good lesson today because at least Tesla is moving. So it's giving us the possibility to see some good things. I'm going to go back on candlesticks. Don't get mad. And we're going to cut MBBO for now, only because today I just want to show you candles. Next time, we're going to go with MBBO and we're going to go with the sweep indicator. We're going to go with the other. Okay. So at this point over here, you can see three heat maps. So they're not huge because, you know, 4,000 right now on Tesla is not huge, but this is a pretty good uh, first level to short. Okay. So the trend is still down, came down over here, pop. It's a pretty good level to short. One heat map, second, three. It's like wall of sellers. I mean, for wall of sellers, I would like to see something that big like this. Maybe eight, ten thousand, not you know, four thousand, one thousand, two thousand, but it's still decent over here for me to take a position short. And we're doing this because the trend is still down. And because over here uh, we have the small heat map, bigger, bigger, and bigger. This is a good level for a short opportunity. And you short the top, you right away covering part of the dip, and then you put the stop break even. If you get break even, you're out. If it goes down 15 points, it's good money. So look over here. So imagine you took over here the short prices over here, 55.25. So for now, it's making still an inside bar. If it doesn't reach the A56, you're still in. Over here, that's your break even out. Okay. Uh, let's look, traders, one second at Apple. Okay, I'm looking at Apple because it's curling and pushing.
Now remember, it's full of previous day resistance. This level, this level, this level, still full over here, okay? Even a good amount of volume right now. Bars of 300, 400K per minute, which is still good volume on Apple. Am I shorting 166? Damn, no. Personally, wine, I have the, the XP, the full one with the MBBO. I mean, the more data I have, the more complete these uh, heat maps, uh, these, I would say, uh, prints are. Exactly. Now we're getting to the 166. So probably not 166. I expect, you know, 60, 70 cents of pullback. So let's wait that it touches and then fades over here. But I'm not shorting that. Not shorting that. Okay. This is how I like to see my bookmap, exactly like this. What it's doing over here is doing a small flag, but I never buy these over here until they don't go near the 90 May because you're risking too much. Because when they break this 166 and 55, they can really fade. You see over here, seems a good bull flag, right? No, don't buy because you don't have a very good risk level. So I'm buying always these dips over here. We're near this 90 May. Now let's look. They pushed it, so they're trying to break it. They stuffed it. So right away, they brought above and below. Breakout trading is very hard, traders. It's very, very hard. Why? It's hard because it doesn't work. Joseph, how did you, I mean, this is a, 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 a psychological uh, uh, question. Um, I, I, I've always been impressed. I mean, since you've said it, since I first heard you say it, like, uh, um, you know, cutting your losses, just, you know, getting out, cutting your losses, just wait for the next one. It's not worth it. And, uh, don't, don't let it scar you. Um, Sorry, Trader, just one second, bro. This is a short. This is a short scalp, low risk, because we have that huge heat map. So you're risking like 20 cents in order to make like possibly one buck. So these are the levels that you want to see. Uh, sorry, Bruce, but I wanted to say this. Careful now, they create a support, but you're risking just, you know, a big orange heat map over here. So this is really where I would counter trend short. You can see over here, they're trying to push it down. And now if I see it that doesn't work, I would cut over here, see it removed. For me, that's my break even stop. Where I'm getting out, traders, it doesn't work. Because we don't have any more of that heat map over here. So now it's coming again, but out, boom. So you take a scratch. But a scratch that is worth, because if it goes down, basically you get like the, 
The same bounce, it came down here, all up here. Okay, Bruce, you were telling me about the risk on uh, losing. No, you just demoed it in real time. Um, but uh, how, how you like got over that, I think that's a, a, a really hard uh, uh, thing to learn for traders. Um, like, um, for me, it's very simple, Bruce. And I would want to answer right away like this. For me, the first thing that gets out to my mouth uh, from my mouth is basically you have to uh, you have to consider that you will cut a lot. You have to learn that in order to make a ton of money in this job, you will have losses. So the more you learn how to lose, the more you learn how to stop, the better your trading will be. So it's not really, you know, having a huge high win rate. It's really learning you have to cut. You have to cut, you will take stop losses. So you need to cut. That's the most important thing. I, I'm just I'm just curious, like, you know, the evolution of of your your process, you know, when you were learning. Um, did you find that well, you know, maybe you didn't quite have your setups really um, uh, detailed out like you do now. Uh, but, you know, you were like, well, I'm, I'm sick of taking losses. I'm just going to cut the trade and, and wait for something better. Um, and then that started to also define your setups better and the clarity and what you're looking for in your setups. Or was it the opposite? Um, you know, yeah, I'm just, you know, curious, like how it kind of unfolded, how you learned how to take those losses. I would say through practice, uh, all, I, I really don't like to, to invest money if I don't have, you know, a big test system. Um, and for me, as uh, you know, in this job, you lose a lot, a lot and very fast if you don't know what you're doing. So uh, you can be reckless and, you know, start training without a really proper strategy. Uh, and you won't last that much. So, for example, when I, when I started, it was a totally different market. I was trading European markets, mainly Italian market, okay. banking Tesa. I was like 19, something like that. And I was uh, 99, 2000. And I remember I had my small wow. account, those time 3 million liter, which was like uh, 1,500 bucks right now. I lost in one month. Click on. Basically yeah. trying to do things and having no clue of how to do it. So I was like randomly, you know, shifting from a strategy to another one and it was not working anything for me. So I, I started to observe the market, what the market is doing. And I started to research patterns. I started to see if patterns that I was seeing that moment, they were reoccur. And that first year, I, I basically find my niche. So it was very fast. And it was basically using core warrants and stocks at the same time. In core warrants are the same exact thing as options today in the U.S. market. So the same exact, you know, maybe the the percentage that I used to have on core warrants was even bigger than the one that option gave you right now. So that's how I could grow an account, you know, a small account, very very fast. And uh, what uh, was say I was lucky because the win rate was very high maybe 90%, 95% win rate was really, really crazy high. It was every time like, you know, going to the casino, knowing that you put on the red, the money in the red, and always red had to come out. <laughs> when I started then moving also to futures market, to the US stock market, I didn't have any more that win rate. So I had to learn really how to lose. And it was in the beginning, like, you know, frustrating because it was coming on something that I was betting money and nine times out of 10, I wouldn't make money. So I was super sure you know, to put big size every single time. That's the reason why I was making 30 million of intermediate uh, volume per month in, in Europe. And then when I started to trade the big market as well, was around 2004, 2005, 2006, I had to cut, you know, back maybe to 100 shares, 50 shares, something like that, because I was not having not even 50% win rate. And then I need to study and observe the market again and try to find what was fit for me. For example, not everybody is a day trader, scalper, or a swing trader. Having said that, I started to lose less when I started to cut faster my, my trades, but then also I was cutting too fast on my wins. So I had to work on backtesting a system, mainly manually because I'm not a programmer, 
so using a spreadsheet on Excel. And I did this that for years. So when people now they post their Excels, you know, 2022, now I was doing that in 2004, 2005, 2006. And I, I had, you know, those monitors with, uh, you know, with uh, the back over here, I had like three or four monitors under my parents' uh, stairs. And uh, my mom is over here. So she was seeing all of this. And uh, basically it was, a, you know, uh, thousands of hours of researching and backtesting. And then I was trying to cut early my trades, but then I had to, the bad trades, but I had also to start to improve to have more uh, R return for my win trades, you know, to balance uh, better my, my trading. And uh, basically for me, it was really like learning that I have to cut. Something that's working, cut, 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 cut. And it really seems like, you know, against our human nature, because you're saying yourself, okay, I'm wrong. I need to cut it. I'm wrong. I need to cut it. But in reality, you're protecting your account and you're putting then the money on maybe a, a winner horse, not on a losing horse. That is really what, what worked for me. Oh, thank you very much, Joseph. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Uh, it's like music to, to uh, our ears, I think. Uh, uh, learning how to take a loss. Uh, and uh, also learning why it's losing, uh, it, it dovetailing or meshing with your um, uh, back testing. Yeah, and it's it's a lot about that. It's a lot about that also because I'm I'm trying to move to quantum, so to the to the dark side and trying to you know having like more automated systems uh, systems, and uh, that research that back testing is uh, one of the most important things, like how to tweak also your filters. That really makes the difference between your R return uh, that that you can have. All right, so let's look over here if Apple gives a setup. So in this case, what I'm looking over here on Apple would be a heat map below. I don't see it. I don't need to trade it. If I start to see this forming, so basically like we saw before, right, which was on Tesla, for example, or it happened, let's see down here, not really over here. No, this over here, no. But generally apple does that setup so i like to trade that over here we have no support yet so you can see the price it has a small support over here right small support we're talking about this level let's see if we're going to have a little bit of support over here formation very small light one over here and one long on these because instantly, especially with all this resistance above. So sellers over here. No, I'm not longing over here. More sellers, more sellers. Careful, they're moving over here, liquidity. Possible unwind. Uh, they're selling a little bit more, you see. We remove this one. Maybe they're going to jump in over here. Let's see. They form a new bar, flashing over here. So somebody's spoofing. All these are spoof. Okay, breakdown over here. So you see traders, what we said just right now, a lot of support over here, a lot of resistance over here, no support. Now more sellers possible, you know, unwind. And you can see over here how they're selling, right? So you can see the reversal of the play. And this is beautiful. You see how it's easy to, uh, to catch these. And I just like told you this like a few seconds before it happened. So good, good point over here too. We saw a lot of setups today. So I hope like you, you took like notes. Uh, Razor, um, good morning, buddy. 
Uh, J2A, what are your heat map settings? Really interesting how you use them intraday. Uh, honestly, I put all default today. Uh, Apple default, otherwise you see I use 999 on Apple. Uh, Tesla I put default, otherwise I generally use 499 unless it's super liquid and I use 999. Uh, Nvidia was the other one that I had and I had default again over here, otherwise I put even here 999. Or when it's super liquid, I put 1999. It changes a lot when I trade small caps, absolutely a lot, buddy. Today I put CTIC over here that I didn't even trade it, okay? I'm not trading these three, four days. But I change them these often, and I need to put generally from 5,000 up even to 20,000. So for, if I trade a $7 stock, will be again around 5,000. A $10 stock, maybe 3,000. A, a $5 stock will be generally like 10,000. A $2 stock generally will be like 20,000, okay? Just to give an idea. And over here, say bye bye Apple. Look at that liquidity that is jumping in. I mean, this is so crazy, right? So crazy over here. So crazy. So we're going to make like this. So huge wall of sellers 16610, 16630. Uh, Reversal pattern, okay. And the stood traders, clear for everybody. Yeah, really nice one, Joseph, in real time there uh, with that heat map pressing down. Exactly. That's the point, traders. That's the point. We go like this. Good morning, Leo. Let's see over here the evolution of this. Okay, traders, uh, 11.30, uh, we have, you know, five minutes for a QA and a if you want. Uh, wine, you don't see the MBBO. Uh, Bruce, I think, will it reach to you? Yeah, you, you log it, log into uh, uh, bookmap.com slash portal, and then on the left-hand side, you'll, you'll see add subscription or, or add in there, and uh, you should see MBBO. Any more questions, traders? Okay. Bruce, you need to add anything else? Uh, no, just putting your contact information in here as well, uh, Joseph. So uh, if people have any uh, questions about your mentorship or education, uh, they can reach out to you. Okay. Can I share, uh, Bruce, the link that we have on YouTube? Sure. Uh, every morning, traders, we have a free, free webinar on the morning plan uh, for stocks, futures, crypto. So join us and come to see. We use Bookmap, and uh, we just give you know the news of the day, the stocks, the futures, the crypto that I'm following or I'm going to trade. That's it. Follow us and spread with your friends. Bring only you know good people. And thank you, Bruce, always for being a great host over here. I think he knows his business. Hopefully, we'll make a webinar in live um, in, a, in a place where, you know, he decides maybe in the States will be amazing. I'm looking to do that with you, Bruce. Yeah, you know, that that's would be my great. Goal. That would be great. Um, I'm looking to do it with you, but in San Marino. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we'll come European traders, I guess. Yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, uh, yeah, that would be, that'd be excellent. That'd be excellent. But uh, 
uh, yeah, thank you very much, Joseph. Uh, great, great webinar. You're welcome, traders. So see you again tomorrow uh, for Scott Pulsini. Follow the guys very, very good. And then traders, see you next week over here, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bruce, and thank you, Bookmap.